Good day, everyone. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. I am Adema Ladeniji. So today I will be explaining um, plagiarism check with Tonitin software. So as you know, plagiarism is a very, very big of offense in academics and every work of like lives as well. So I think it will be very good that we know how to perform plagiarism check with any of our documents. So today I'll be explaining, I'll, take you, I'll be taking you through the process of doing this. So let's follow. All right, so let's go to the first process will be going to um, Google. So let's go to Google to check. So I'll be checking, okay, searching on it. So the first step will be, let's click on this. All right, okay. So here we have create account and login, but in our case, we still don't have an account yet. So I'll click create an account. So it is asking me, am I a student? Am I a teacher assistant, an instructor? But in our case, I think, the student so students yeah this is where the problem is because yeah, creating the new profile is asking us that we should provide the class id the enrollment key so and our personal information so now how are we going to go about this class id and this enrollment key so that's where the problem is so i think before we can do that we have to go to YouTube <clears throat> because it is very difficult for us to be able to get class ID. So, and I think some people do share free class ID and a romance key. So you can just go to um, YouTube search turn it in class ID 2022. So you, you can see a lot of videos saying, okay, um, we have free class ID that you can use. Though at times there are some, there are some videos that you can to watch probably the uh, use uh, the particular person that owns the class ID has actually deactivated the code of the class. So it's you might actually use those login and it will not work. So you have to keep on trying your luck. But as of today, as I'm recording this video, this, this first um, video up here, if you click on it, it works the class ID that the um, user provided is actually working okay. So and I've actually gotten it. So you see the class ID consists of eight letters, like eight figures, and also the enrollment key is basically the password. So you you watch the video, write it down and get it. So now <clears throat> I've already, in my case, I've already done that. So I saw one, this, and as well the um, the password so you can watch the video and get it so it should be nice so i already created my account using that um that class id and enrollment key so i supplied in my personal information so i was able to create an account so let's go to my account let's see let's go back to login so login so he's asking me to log in my email address and password that I already created. Login, let's go. Yeah, so this is the donating platform. So we can see here, here is uh, probably, okay, yeah, basically this is what you are going to see after you log in. So the next step for us to do is probably this particular account becomes inactive. And that is the person that provided us with the, um, the turn it in class ID and enrollment key. So the next step for us to do is that, okay, you can click on enrolling in a class. So if you click on enrolling in a class, you can get another class ID and also enrollment key. So you can use that to join another class. So now let's go back to my class. So here, what am I going to do next is to click this. So it is saying, so this platform is where we are going to have our documents checked. So I'll go back to my document that I want to, I want to actually confirm its plagiarism similarity index. So I have to come here, go to my document. So basically this is my document that I want to perform the plagiarism check. So in the case that I probably want to check the plagiarism for, 
um, for a research manuscript. So you have to make sure that you neglect the reference. So even to check, make sure you cut out the reference because if you do the plagiarism check with the reference, the similarity index will be so high. So it is very good that you cut out the um, reference section of your manuscript. So after cutting it out, so you perform the check. So how do I proceed? So this, take for instance, probably this is my document. Probably it is my SOP, my statement of purpose, my personal statement, or research manuscript, or any other document that you want to check the originality. So you copy this, copy your stuff, so I can try to like create another document based. So this, I'll be saving this as PDF because it is very essential we do that. Save as PDF, okay. So I want to save this as PDF to my download, okay. Save this for me as PDF, good. So the next step for me to do is to submit. So I will try, you are going to use this. You are going to see this, this assignment title means non-repository, that is the person providing us with this class ID and the enrollment key, um, actually deactivated the repository, um, repository basically. So it means when you upload your document, it will not save anywhere in the, um, in the provider system. So it doesn't save anywhere, so which is quite nice. So now I will try to submit my document so you can use anything. Maybe let me see carbon nano to nano to manuscript. So I can or probably SOP or anything like anything you wish. So choose the file from my computer. I saved it as um carbon okay, download carbon nano to PDF. Open, upload, then we wait for some while until it's finished. Okay, confirm. Yeah, so that's all. So the next step is to respond to the assignment list. So after returning here, yeah, this is where we are going to get the similarity index. So we have to wait for some while. So for you to like, okay, finish processing. I think this is a very short document, I think. It should be fast. Let me reload. Yeah, cool. You can see see the similarity index, 56%. That is, it shows that it has high plagiarism. So it means basically where I actually got this document, I copied it out from a particular journal, published journal article. So let's check view. Okay, what do we have? View, view, view. Okay, we can delete this. We don't really need all this. So the next thing for us to do is to download. Let's download our report, this current view, download it. So we can see the result analysis. So it is still preparing to download, preparing to download. Good, that's downloaded. Yeah, so this is, this is basically the result so we can see so yeah you can see that this is my article that i'm checking and now you can see we have the report this is the similarity index so this is the sources that is 56 percent of the text here was gotten from internet sources also 55% uh, of those words are from research publications 70 percent from student papers so now this is trying to show that a lot of these text was copied from this particular source. So you can see, so it is better. So when you see something like red, red actually shows that a lot, when you see red color, it actually shows that a lot of this stuff are copied from, directly from the, um, from the internet. So you might want to make sure that whatever document you are going to be writing, you make sure that you neglect copying from the internet. So there are a lot of, I think I'm going to try to make another video on how to use some software like QuickBooks to be able to like beat some of these uh, plagiarism. So I think um, that will be all for, for this video. So thank you. So I don't know if you have any comment or any question, try to drop it in the comment section. and. Also try to like uh, subscribe so, so as to encourage me to do some nice videos as well. So thank you.